Hi, Phil Brown here with a quick tip on how to automatically select different size holes for spot drilling, as well as adding a chamfer to those holes in the same operation. So your first step here is to go to a drilling cycle. Go ahead and pull a spot drill tool. Um, in this case, I'm using a 3 8 by 90 with a 30 thou flat. And then in our second window where you normally select your faces, I'm going to go diameter range. And then let's go ahead and edit these expressions. So the first expression I'm going to go ahead and put in here is I want to go off my tool and I want to say tip diameter. So that's going to go ahead and pull that 30 thou minimum. And then on my higher threshold, I'm going to edit this expression. And let's go off the outside diameter overall on my tool. And then me personally, I like to take this up to 95% because obviously doing a 3 8 hole, as you can see on my model, with a 3 8 spot is unrealistic. So again, now we picked four out of those five holes. And again, we wanted to stay below that 3 8 threshold. And with that, all I have to do is go to my bottom heights, go ahead and say two chamfer width, and then go ahead and enter your chamfer amount. In this case, I like to use 10 thou. And if I zoom in here on my part, you can actually see where that contour is versus where that outer ring of that tool sits. So with this all set up and ready to go, hit OK. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a template personally, so I have it for the future. So I'm going to just say spot drill. And now at any time on any other parts that I utilize, I can go ahead and go into my templates and I could use that spot drill template. All I have to do is regenerate and pick up my holes automatically.